All right, so there's the uh, the Turner. Um, I stained it just because that's what I had on hand. I only used um, half inch plywood because that's what I had on hand. Um, I would recommend using three quarter, but three quarter is 50 bucks a sheet right now. So since I had half inch on hand, that's what I did. Um, so let me, uh, let me show you what I did here. We'll, uh, we'll get into the uh, nuts and bolts of it. Uh, hey, don't you worry about me. I'm living the good life. All right, guys, so um, let's start off by um, how I did the wood here. This is just a two, two foot wide or two foot in depth sheet by 48 inches in width, okay? Um, if, you buy, if you buy a sheet of plywood, you can build this whole thing. Um, this is just stuff I had laying around. Um, so it's 48 inches wide, okay? This piece right here, this is your middle piece, um, or your back piece, I guess, because I don't have a back back here yet, and I'll explain that later. Um, this piece right here where you mount your motors, this is seven and a half by 48 inches long, okay? Seven and a half by 48. You have two side pieces. I cut those at um, seven and a half tall, and let me just measure to make sure I got the right measurement here by six inches wide. So seven and a half tall, 48 in, or uh, six inches wide. And that's, you need two of those. Then I have my top piece here. And I, that one's uh, gonna be, see it's five and, looks like it's about five and seven eighths. And we are gonna be, I should have wrote all this down before I did it, but I didn't. So we're, you're just going to have to bear with me. That is 46 and 7 eighths long. So 46 and 7 eighths this way. And we had 5 and 7 eighths deep. You know, once you get your box built, you can measure that. Um, you know, this is just what I've got. So once you get that, those cut, um, you're gonna, you can, you can do this one of two ways. You can, you can come in four inches um, from each end to the center, or four inches over, and then three inches down. Or you can go 24, and then go over four this way and four that way. Gives yourself eight inches in between. That's the way I like to do it. I like to find my center point here. So I get my 24. I go four this way, four this way, and then it's from this center to this center is eight. From this center to this center is eight. And same thing this way. Once you get, once you get those marked, then you'll come down three inches. Make yourself a cross on your wood. And then you'll take a two inch hole saw and there's a little, if you're not familiar with the hole saw, it's a, a round little piece like that, has teeth on it, and then in the center, it'll have a drill bit. So your drill bit will just hit the center of your cross there, and you'll drill those out. Once you drill those out, then your modals will sit in there flush. Make sure it's two inch hole saw, don't do a two and an eighth. Um, make sure it's two inch hole saw. That's how you get your holes for your motors there. And I'll, I'll get an up close view of that here in just a little bit. We'll keep moving on this. This piece here is 48 inches uh, wide. Um, and then I cut this at about five and a half inches, I believe. So then I, once I get my PVC pipes uh, built, and I don't have this end on, I just mark, I set this up here and I mark where every single one is. And I draw a circle around it so I know where the pipe fits. And then I take a one inch hole saw and I draw a hole through that. And then 
once I get that hole drilled through, then I can figure out the amount I want to cut off. This one, um, if you do it with what I've got, this one turned out to be uh, four and three quarters tall. Is that right? Nope, four and a half. About four and a half, maybe a little over. So cut it five and a half, that way it gives you a little extra to play with. Um, that's how I did all that. These side pieces here, this is just more support. There's one on each end, of, you know, to connect this part, this front piece, to this back piece. Um, these I did at seven and three eighths, and then what, however, whatever height your front piece ends up working out to be. Okay, so seven and three eighths. You you can make these smaller. You can make them bigger. You want to make sure you give yourself room to get in here and be able to turn these these pipes off. Okay. One thing I can tell you is you can see how easy those screw. You just need, when you, when you put them in, you just need it to be snug. These aren't gonna fall off. They're screwing in far enough, but you can see how easy those screw in and out, okay? If you, if you tighten them up too much, it'll make it harder and harder for those to screw in and out. So just get them snug to where, where they're not gonna fall out. You see how many times I gotta spin it to get it to pull out. So once you get it to where it starts to tighten up, then you're good. Um, so we got all the, uh, the specs for the build. Again, all this will be down in the description. Um, so you can see that. Now, let me talk about the back. I left the back open right now. I don't have any fans. You, and if you've used these motors before, you know these little motors get hot. Um, you can put heat sinks on them if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave the back open. <laughs> and um, eventually maybe I'll get a couple fans, put three fans in, maybe one, you know, one in here, one in here, one in here, so it covers that whole area. But um, right now, the back's just open. We'll show you that in a little bit because I'll show you how I wired it together. Um, so let's get to uh, the assembly of the arms here. So your turners, a lot of times when you buy your motors, they come with little fittings like that. I go on and buy these. They're a little, little bigger. I think they're seven millimeter. Again, there'll be a link down in the description for you. Um, and what you get when you do this So you take yourself, you get you get a three-quarter male to, or I'm sorry, um, a half-inch male to a three-quarter female slip fit. So this is a male threaded. This is female slip. And you hammer those down inside there. <clears throat> They're snug. You you. If I had one, I'd show you. I've got an old piece here that I had glued together. Um, this is just. This is just half inch, but you know, you have to really work it to get it in there. So you hammer it down inside. Um, try to get it as straight as possible. Um, if you can't get it st completely straight, that's fine. Once you get it in there, you can, you can move it around to get it uh, where you need it. Once you get it where you want it, I take some Gorilla Glue and just drop a couple drops, just a very little bit, because it doesn't take much. Um, and that'll hold that and that'll never come out. So you get that, and then I use these um, hitch pins um, to connect to the motor. And these are uh, 0.093 by two and five sixteenth hitch pins. You'll need six of these. They'll just go through that and through the hole in the motor. And that's how you connect this piece. So that'll go right here. Uh, let's see, like that. Now you'll cut six pieces like this. I've got it stuck together. I'm not gonna be able to get it out, but these are about an inch long. And this is a female threaded on this side, and this is a female slip. 
that just slips in here like that. And that's how you can connect your arm. Now, I cut these at about four. Well, let me just measure it to make sure. Uh, I've got some right here. Four and three eighths is what I cut these at. You'll need 12 of them because you'll have six down here and six up here on a drying rack. Um, they didn't have the pieces that I needed to do my drying rack. I'm just doing an end cap with a, a three quarter female thread there. Um, so, and then just, I'll just screw it down in. It'll be a cap. I thought I had them, but it wasn't the right one, but it'll be a cap like that. You can see it. If I've got a piece stuck in there. I tried to make it work, and then when I realized, I was like, oh, I got the wrong piece. It's not going to work. So, anyways, just be a, a cap with three-quarter thread in there. And you'll just screw them down up here, and that way you can screw in your arms to your drying rack up top. Um, so, you'll need 12 of these. Um, all this will be down in the description because there's a lot. And that goes on like that screws into your arm. This is a three quarter male and then a three quarter slip fit there. Three quarter slip fit female right there. Three quarter male there. And uh, that goes into one of these guys right here. And this is, just to make sure I'm telling you right, this is one and a half inch to three quarter coupling. And I'm using these and it just slides right in there. If I, can get, I don't know if I can get it out. They're kind of tough. There we go. So that just slides in. You can, you can leave this on and tighten it down. I don't like to scratch the inside of my cups and sometimes that'll hit the cup. So I take these off and I just glue these in there with Gorilla Glue. And then your fitting just screws in. That one's a little tight. Screws in there. This will be glued. This will be glued. This will be glued. This will be glued. And then you can screw it in there. These two pieces will be glued together. That way you, they, they never come apart. These are... Um, Two inch to one and a half inch couplings. Um, and this is a two inch to one and a half inch donut. And I'll show you what they both look like. These will use on your smaller cups, like your skinnies and stuff like that. The donut will be used on your larger cups. So let's see if you can see that one. It's got those ribs there. This one does not. So, um, you can use this one like, like this is, this is one of the, uh, like the belt cups from Walmart. Slides right on there. And it'll slide on this one too, like that. So, for something like that, you can use either one. I don't use those cups anymore. Um, some of you that follow me on TikTok and on Facebook uh, know that I got sick of waiting on people to deliver me cups. You know, take a couple days for them to ship it and then take three to five days to get here. So I have my own cups manufactured and um, I actually sell them now, MidwestTumblers.com. I'll put a link down in the uh, description for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and, well, let's, Let's pull you up here and show you how the motors are mounted here real quick and then I'll pause you for a minute and I'll turn you around and I'll show you the uh, wiring. So you can see how the uh, the motors are connected there. There's the hitch pin and they just screw in there. So that is the assembly of the motors. All right, so let me uh, let me pause this for a minute and we'll get to the uh, wiring and uh, then we'll be through here, so. 
Okay, so I put three rocker switches up top. Um, that's all they do. Um, these motors are finicky. They'll go back and forth. Doesn't matter how you wire it up. They're not all going to go the same direction. It's just the way the motors, these motors work. So I, the way I did it is all the wires that were on the left side of the motor, motor and let's see if I can get down there and show you. But all the wires that are on the left side go up into the switch right there. And I tied two motors together. So two left sides go to the front side of the switch. And then <coughs> you have one wire coming out of the switch and it goes to the white wire on your cord, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So you're, and then, and then your right side wire that comes out of your motor goes down and I use these power blocks, which are great and I'll, I'll show you how it works. You put all your right side on, on this side, like I've got them there. And then it comes with that bridge and you plug your black wire in from your your cord to this side and it gives power to all those. So your right side comes down to this power black and then to the black side of your wire and then all the left sides go up to your switches and come down to the white wire. Okay? And then you have a ground. Just this one man crew here. Then you have your ground. Um, all my grounds just come, I, I have wire on a roll. I just bring all my grounds down to the center and then I uh, wire nut them in together to the green wire on the plug. And that's how I wire mine up. Now I know down here it's a mess right now. Um, I'm short power blocks. So I, I just wanted to put it together to be able to show you how it gets wired together. Um, I wanted to get this video out so other people can make this. Um, and again, I am not an electrician, so you know this is just how I do it. I, I you know this is the right way, but I'm not an electrician, so do it your own risk, I guess. Anyways. Um, but you can see, if I can get it down there, I'm leaving that open right now. Um, but if I wanted to um, close it off, you would just cut a piece that's 48 by what I, I don't remember what I said those sides were. But And then you could screw it on there and put some fans in the back. So um, that's, that's the last of the, uh, the video that I've got for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm here to help. Um, I'd appreciate you guys if you go check out my uh, my website, MidwestTumblers.com, order some cups from me. Um, like I said, I started out making cups, and then I started buying them and having them manufactured for myself, so that way I could get them quicker, and I want to help other people out as well, um, getting your cups quicker. So I ship same business day. If it's in by 1 p.m. Central Time, most likely your order is going to go out that day. Um, if not, it'll go out next business day, Monday through Friday. Um, I ship U UPS. Um, I sent out an order the other day, went out on Monday. She got the order Tuesday. So I ship fast. So, But that's not what this is about. All the links to everything that I use besides the wood will be down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm here to help. And check out my website, MidwestTumblers.com. Link's down in the description. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, don't you worry about me. I'm living the cool.